welcome back to another episode of Disney Dreamlight Valley, starting over all the way from the beginning. It's been a couple of days, but I'm back. Uh, I got a couple of comments from some of you who found me through this game and said that they were first starting out or uh, they decided to start over as well. So um, I'm playing specifically for you. Uh, I also was speaking to someone this week who said that they were playing for the very first time and asked whether it was always such a grind because they're used to, well, of, lots of other games, but specifically that we were comparing it to Animal Crossing, as most of us do. Um, and they were asking whether or not it is always so grindy. And definitely early game, it feels that way. I think that's what put me off. When I first, first got the game, I played a little and then I just was like, oh, I don't really get the hype. Um, and it wasn't until I really dedicated some time to it over Christmas that I really started to enjoy the game. Um, it all feels very overwhelming and there's just so much stuff. So if you are starting this game and that's how you're feeling, just persevere because it really does get great. It's a fantastic game. The stories are really good. Um, my main issue, if I had one, because they fixed a lot of the issues in the updates as we've gone along. Um, and a lot of the things that are annoying initially, you know, like things you can't move and, you know, just for someone like me who I look across here and I'm like, oh, it's all like messy and disorganized and annoying. If you're like me, um, that might be slightly off-putting but a lot of the stuff you can't move initially you will be able to move later on in the game so persevere I promise it gets better I'm not connecting to the internet so I'm not going to be collecting that chest that chest has um what are they called moon coins something like that um, I'm not connecting to the internet specifically because this is my second account and uh, I really need to set up a second like Nintendo account in order to connect this. But I do plan to try to complete the star path, which you need to connect the internet to do. I plan to uh, try to connect, uh, sorry, try to complete the star path in like as few hours as possible. So I will do that at some point, And I thought that might be quite a fun little challenge to do for a video. Right, I really need to go and drop all of these things off. I am like Hordy McHordison when it comes to these games. And I did say in the last episode, I would go around and pick up all of these little uh, bits of paper and open all the chests and all that stuff. So I will make good on my promise. Oh, I forgot we couldn't go up there. <laughs> That's where I live in my other game. Uh, okay, where's my house? My house is over here. So the, the world gets much bigger than this as well. So this is my lovely, beautiful house. I have done nothing to repair it as yet. Uh, right, let's open these things. Can we do that? Can we open them from inside the chest? No, okay. In that case, let's open these things from inside my inventory. Usually clothing items or furniture items um, and they will go into a separate inventory so it makes space for you. I think it's quite possible that it is always clothing. Although the purple one might be different. Oh yeah, okay. So the purple one is um, furniture and the blue one is clothing. Oh, that is quite nice, you know. Um, right, I'm going to get those other little bags from out of there. And then I'm going to load up my storage. And my storage is teeny tiny in my house, as you can see. I'm just going to put some um, general kind of resources in here. Uh, not too much of anything, because really I'm going to fill it up quickly. I think that's going to be it. Uh, as we upgrade the house, we will get more storage, the same as with Animal Crossing, uh, but you can also build chests as we get further into the game as well. I think you can actually build a small chest now, but I'm not falling into that trap. With the last update, we got the most fantastic 
um, like large chest storage. And part of the reason that I was quite keen on trying the game from the beginning was because um, I thought it would be like better, or not better, but like easier to organize things doing it this way. So that's my plan. Um, but I just can't not pick these things up and it just, everything's a mess all of the time. Okay, so let's have a look. One of our quests is to complete some dreamlight duties. So let's see what we've got as our day-to-day -day dreamlight duties. Well, we've already done that. Have a daily discussion. We can get that done easily. Um... Oh, we've already done dream light duties. We need to gather some dream light to open the dream castle. So part of the way that we're going to gather dream light is looking for uh, little breaks in the floor. I was just seeing if I'd got some already. Little breaks in the floor, little cracks in different places. And you have to uh, dig them up. You'll find them around. We will search and I will give you an example. I think this was around the point that I got to when I got bored when I was first playing through. It's definitely one of those games that just assumes you know things. It doesn't kind of hold your hand through the different tasks. And I was kind of confused by what I was supposed to be doing. Thankfully, there's a huge community uh, surrounding this game now. So there's lots of information out there, but I got the game when it first launched. There wasn't really anything. And I just thought, oh, I don't really get it. It's kind of complicated. It's not like a fun, like chill game that I thought it was going to be. This is going to take a bit more from me and I, I can't be bothered, um, <laughs> which sounds crazy because, you know, can't be bothered to play a video game. But what I was looking for was something that was just, oh, a little bit mindless. You don't really need to think. I didn't want to have to be like looking things up. Let's see what our notes are that we've got left around. They should all be memories or like fragments of a diary. And once we've collected them all, we'll probably get another quest. Oh, here's another one. A little glittering crack in the floor and this is where you find dream lights there are various things as i was saying that you can't actually do anything with like, i can't do anything with this stump later in the game um, there are characters that come into it that will um, have a quest and that quest will lead you to be able to do that there are lots of little things like the mushrooms and stuff oh i just turned off the light didn't mean to but I did. Uh, lots of little things that are like that, that eventually we'll be able to do. Um, and that's not apparent from the beginning. So I immediately was like, oh my God, I've got, so I've got to live with all these random things on the floor. Um, I think I cut myself off mid-sentence earlier, but really my only issue that I have with the game still is the amount of stuff that is dropped on the floor so, and I know I'm not alone in this, but they fixed a lot of the problems that we had with the game um, in this kind of early access stage. Have we got up oh, more of the old ruler's lost diaries? Um, which theoretically, our lost diaries, right? Uh, but the, the thing that really bugs me is I can take ages really clearing everywhere. And then I come back up a couple of hours later and it's all back. It's kind of annoying. Oh, there's loads and loads of areas around here to dig up. Hopefully, this gives us a good amount of dream light and not just random stuff. A little bit of dream light. We're not getting loads. How much do we need? I feel like quite a lot. Uh, dream shards. Sorry. Dream shards. Oh, I've totally misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing being I've played this game for hundreds of hours. Okay, so I was collecting dream shards and what we were actually supposed to be collecting was dream light. So you can either go to this well in like the town square or you can go, um, you can press the plus sign. Yeah, the plus sign and that takes you to the same place. All these different menus are there and dream light, what an idiot. 
Okay, so I've actually got loads of dream light to collect because I've completed a ton of tasks and I just hadn't collected the dream light yet. Here I am trying to offer you some kind of guidance if you're new to the game and I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing. Right, so we need 500 more dream light. Let's take a look at the kind of things that we can do. Daily dream light duties. We need to have a daily discussion, prepare two meals, mine some minerals, catch some fish. Okay, we can do some of this. We can do some of this. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of tasks and quests that are like this. A lot that are, you need this number of um, things to do. It's very task oriented um, and in a lot of ways you kind of need to finish the quests to kind of open up the world before you can have that kind of free play. There comes a point where do the quests, don't do the quests, it doesn't really matter but you're going to want to do the quests in order to, um, for example, uh, you're going to want the quests so that you can get rid of these enormous mushrooms so that you can decorate around said enormous mushrooms. So even if you're not really that interested in the characters and the stories and stuff, and you just like the idea of it being like an open world kind of game, you are still gonna wanna finish those so that you can have uh, kind of a blank slate to work with. Um, it, it's just kind of the nature of the game, but there is then a lot of scope for decorating and uh, like gardening, stuff like that, fishing. There's a lot of other fun stuff you can do beyond that. Right, what can I get rid of out of my inventory? Let's eat some apples, shall we? Because we are running out of energy anyway. Let's do some fishing. Get that dream light done. Oh, Goofy's come to hang with me. Haven't even asked him to hang with me. And he's like, I love fishing. Okay, I think I... That's one down. Uh, let's mine for some minerals. That's easy enough. And we've already done one. So we only need one more. Also worth noting, uh, these little kind of rocks within the walls, within the like cliffs and stuff, um, sometimes they give you gems, sometimes they give you like rock or coal, loads of different things. And just because this one is like solid, it just looks like solid dark gray, it doesn't mean anything. Some of them have still got rocks inside, some of them have still got gems inside. You have no idea until you actually start hitting them. So if you get to a quest where it says like you need rubies, don't only walk around looking for stones that have got red gems because that might not be the only stone that's nearby that you can actually uh, get rubies from. We've also, oh, we've also got these few that we can collect. Excellent. We need like 350 more. So let's have a daily discussion. Uh, we need to keep removing these night thorns as well. Where's Goofy gone? We could have our daily discussion with Goof. Ah, oh, there he is. Goofy, my man. Oh, I, for sure, this evening, I'm going to set up another Nintendo account. And uh, in the next one, we'll try and, like, grind through that star path because the star path is a hundred percent worth doing um you get so many bonuses it's just a really really fun thing oh so this i think this is the f is this the first time this has come up i think it is so as you play the game you um unlock new friendship levels with your villagers and uh, or your neighbors whatever they're called um and you can choose when you get to level two what bonus skill they are going to have. So if, if I have him hanging out with me while I'm doing something, he's going to give me some bonuses. Now, Goofy, I'm going to go with fishing because that is his jam, isn't it? It just makes sense. Um, and now if I get Goofy to hang out with me, 
then he is going to give me some fishing bonuses. I'll give you an example of that right now. I'm going to ask him to hang out and it's got, oh, did I choose gardening? Okay, well, whatevs, that's not what I meant to do. Um, thankfully, another thing that they added recently as an update that we'd been asking for was a way to change what we'd assigned our villagers to have. So for example, with Goofy, I definitely meant to assign him fishing so I can craft something. I think it's fairly expensive in terms of resources, but I can craft something um, where he can uh, be changed from gardening to fishing. Whereas before it was pretty much a permanent, this is the situation. So that's a good thing too. Uh, but I'll do a little bit of gardening and I will show you that bonus in action because it's really worthwhile uh, considering, really thinking about how you decide to um, assign your villagers. I mean, in fairness, gardening is something that I'm definitely gonna be doing more than fishing. Um, I really was only p picking fishing for Goofy's character. Uh, but in terms of usefulness, it definitely makes more sense right now to have him in gardening anyway. So I'll take it. Right, so I've got some stuff here that I can harvest. Perfect example. When I harvest this, he should give me a bonus. So I harvested the uh, wheat and then he threw out some bonus wheat. Uh, sometimes you get a lot, sometimes none. As they go up in the levels, as like when he gets to like level 10 friendship, we'll get a really good um, bonus. And that makes a massive difference to your harvest. Uh, same with fish. In the early days, it'll probably be like one in every four or five fish. He'll give you an extra one for the one that you've caught, which makes a big difference when you're catching things like lobster or you know, something that's a little bit rare or expensive. But as you get into it, he will give you more and more. And every single time you harvest something, he will give you a bonus. Uh, it's a, it is a really, a really important thing that you kind of consider what you're going to need most. And although, like I said, although I meant to put him on fishing, gardening probably is a little bit more useful for me right now anyway. Okay, another example. Let's harvest these. I actually think we got a dreamlight thing to harvest vegetables as well, so even better. What else have I got in here? Right, just to free up my inventory a little bit, I will uh, plant these. Oh, I've got a level up, level three. Uh, so I'll plant these just to make some space in my inventory. But again, another example, Goofy should give me some bonus vegetables. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I might have got some dream light to collect from that as well. Yeah, have a daily discussion. I will harvest five vegetables and I suppose not all of them were vegetables. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, let me drop something. I will drop these. I will harvest these. And then you need to water them. I'm sure I showed you that in a previous episode, but that is slightly more obvious than the average stuff. Oh, I think I also saw something about watering dried flowers. So you don't usually need to water flowers, but occasionally you'll see one that's like black or like a really dark. Uh, and they need to be watered. It's a bit of a random one. There's no real purpose to that beyond um, you get a little like quest for it or it's a, it's a task for Dreamlight occasionally, but I don't really see the overall purpose of watering the dead flowers. It's a bit strange. I'm sure I saw another one somewhere. Where was it? Oh, we've got another chest. Got another chest and probably no space to take whatever is in the chest. Oh, we have. Miracles. Oh, that's fancy. I tell you what as well, doing this again brand new from nothing has been really interesting because I think I've got 
some, oh, there we go, there we go, I knew there was another one, some way more interesting stuff um, than the last time. I'm sure I have, oh, is that, what does that mean? Oh, we've got some down here, we've got some down here. Uh, I, my items that I've been given and even the ones in Scrooge's shop, which, oh, we should really go to Scrooge's shop. I'm going to need to drop some stuff because I don't have space for it all. Oh, I didn't realise I had recipes. We can use those. That frees up some space there. It obviously wants me to cook something. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We know recipes. Um, okay. Let's go to... Oh, we've got another one. Let's go to Scrooge's shop and see what he has on offer today. I've definitely noticed more interesting items uh, playing this time around than I did when I was first playing when it first came out. Even on my other account now, I, I think I'm not getting these kind of items. I'm not getting the items that I'm getting here for sure. I know it's supposed to be random, but I don't know. It just seems like I'm getting more interesting stuff. And I don't know what the reason for that would be. Is this a fridge? Is this a fridge? That is a really cool fridge. What is that? Oh, it's from Ratatouille. I love that. Have I got money for that? Oh no, I haven't got money for that. Okay, fine. I need to make some money. Uh, let, oh, he hasn't got an upstairs yet. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, right, okay, so we're starting a new quest for Scrooge anyway. So maybe I'll make some money this way. He is losing his mind because he's noticing that his profits are down. Oh, we're going to help him advertise. Of course, not a problem. I can do that. Oh, I remember this outfit. I wore this outfit for like two months playing the game <laughs> before I was like, oh, I can probably change this outfit now. Right. So, wardrobe, let's throw on Scrooge's t-shirt. Oh, it's beautiful. Scrooge, what do you think? Oh, I didn't mean to ask Goofy, but I am vaguely interested in your opinion as well. It looks amazing. I look fantastic, I know, I can pull it off. Uh, right, what am I doing now? Stop talking to Goofy. No, 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 none of that. Go over this way. Right, Scrooge, what do you need from me? We're gonna make some signs, not a problem. So here's something in Dreamlight Valley that is also better than Animal Crossing. You don't need to have your items with you. They just need to be in some kind of storage. How many signs does he want? Is it two? We'll make two. It might be three. Uh, but you don't need to have them in your pocket. So if you've got them in your household storage, or if you've got them in a chest somewhere, that's fine. As long as they're like in the valley and they are in a storage place. I've just realized we haven't got this quest highlighted, so we can't see it in the corner. Let's highlight it. It was four. Okay, let's make two more. So yeah, that's a massive, massive quality of life improvement on Animal Crossing, huge. Because with Animal Crossing, you have to obviously have every single thing in your pockets all the time. Whereas with this, as long as you've collected it and it's somewhere stored away, you're good. So let's go and find somewhere to place these signs. So this little task is also a lesson in how to use the uh, decorating tool or the finish tool because right now it hasn't told me anything. It didn't tell me unless I'm just like, I am click happy and sometimes I do kind of um, click past things, but I don't think that it told me how to do this. Um, and it wasn't obvious. I was like looking in my inventory, like where are the things that I've just built? I don't understand. So you go, no, you don't do that. You don't do that at all. I don't know what made you want to do that. Uh, you press X and off to the side, you can go to furniture. Uh, I didn't even realize that this was here. I definitely thought that it was something that I could only use within my house but it's not there's loads of different stuff and a lot of it can be used outdoors there's only really um a select 
number of items that can only be used indoors. Uh, sorry, indoors. Uh, and the very top shows you that there is a current item specifically for a quest. Um, so I'm going to take these cute little signs and I'm going to place them here. This is technically our first bit of decorating. And uh, kind of, I kind of consider this to be a bit like tutorially, um, because I truly, it took me ages. I think this is why I struggled with it so much because it's not self-explanatory at all. It does. There's nothing. It doesn't tell you what to do. It's just like right now, place these, and it thinks you're gonna just know how to do that um, based on all the other games that you've played. It's definitely not something that I would say would be really simple to go into as your first ever game like this. It's def I don't think that this is made for, although maybe, I was going to say I don't think it's made for kids. It is, but I, I don't think it's like a, a young kid game. They, they're going to need some assistance. Okay, so we've put the, the signs down, Scrooge. How are we feeling? Thank you so much. Um, we have everything you need. That seems like a, a good slogan. Okay, so you want some flowers. So this is telling me. Maybe it does tell me things and I'm just ignoring them. I don't know. Be interesting to watch that back and be like... Oh, yeah, you were just ignoring it. So I'm going to go and collect some flowers. I need dandelions and I think, was it purple rising pe pestamen? Pens? Uh, you know when you read something a million times and I'm suddenly realising I've never said it out loud? Penstemon. Yeah, I think that's how I thought it was. Oh, look at this little guy. I can't remember what his favourite food is. So I'm going to give him a carrot. I'm not great with the critters. If you give the critters the right food, they will give you items. And I tend not to do that, tend not to give the critters the right food. Um, right, so I've got the purple, I think I've got two purple penstemons. And this is another dandelion. Do I have two of each of the things? Oh no, it's those little purple ones from down at the bottom of the peaceful meadow. I need another one of those. Here it is. So now we can craft the plant pots. Oh, you see, I did it again. I was like, where are the pots in my inventory? They're not, they're not in my inventory. They're in the furniture tab. Uh, right, let's place these down. I'm just gonna put them outside the store. That'll do and see if Scrooge is any happier with us. He seems to be. Right, are you gonna give me some money now? Oh, you're gonna give me a crafting station. Okay, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Would not mind a payout as well, because there are some things in the shop that I'd like to buy and I have no funds right now, um, but okay. Also, he's got a little purple icon. Ooh, well, let's make him mining. If we're going to give him a bonus, I think mining is the one for Scrooge. He's going to be all about the gems and the gold and all that, isn't he? So we, he's got a little purple icon above him, which means he's got a new quest that we can start. Okay. What do you want me to do? And there you go. Talking of... Uh, gems, he wants me to sell some gems at a goofy store. So we'll go and get some gems. In fact, do you know what we'll do? We will take Scrooge with us because he will give us a little bonus. And while he's giving us a little bonus, also, I don't know if you know this already, while you are hanging out with the villager, even without doing anything else, hanging out, whatever it is you're doing, regardless of whether or not it's their bonus skill or not, uh, you will be building friendship. So while we're hanging out and I'm hitting these rocks, oh, something's gone wrong with Goofy. He seems to have attached himself to Scrooge. I'm not sure 
that was something we should have seen. Um, definitely didn't seem family friendly. I am going to take Scrooge with me and we're going to mine. So we're going to mine. We're going to hopefully get some of these gemstones that he wants me to sell to Goofy. But also at the same time, we're going to be building friendship with Scrooge. And he's going to be building his own level. Meaning that every single time we go to mine and everything and he is with us as our little hangout companion, he's going to give us more and more bonuses, which is only a good thing. Now, people do say don't sell your gemstones. Obviously, for this, it's a quest. You need to sell them to actually progress further. But I haven't found anything to be difficult to kind of find again if you need the gemstones for a quest. There are plenty of things that I find to be quite a grind. Uh, I mean, I would say probably don't sell any kind of iron ore. That's a difficult one to get hold of and a lot of quests need it. But I haven't found that at all with gems. So if you are lacking money, um, it is something that you can sell. And providing you don't mind going around and mining to get more as and when you need them. They just see, feels like, a, like an unlimited supply. Uh, there will be ones that you'll have less of. But you'll know as you start to play the game, the one that you see like more and more often they're the ones that you can afford to sell because you know that there's going to be more of them. Although I suppose in the early game, there's less mining spots because there are there's just generally less land that is available to you. So maybe it is smart early on to try to hold on to those things. Uh, but later, there's, you know, there's more trees, there's more um, rocks to hit, there's just more of everything. So it's it's less important. To, to hoard this stuff that you know that being said I'm oh, I'm gonna be a hoarder hoarder for life hoarder for life in my actual real life I am a recovering hoarder I hoarder hoarding is in my blood like you've never seen people with more stuff than my parents and um they would say well at least my dad would say he really struggles to get rid of things it's hard it's hard you either get it or you don't some like people who don't get it are like this is crazy but you know, some people struggle with different things and letting things go is a really difficult challenge for a lot of people. What have we got now in our inventory in terms of gems? We've got two, three, four, and I think we need seven. Okay, pretty good going so far. Uh, seven to sell to Goofy and then we'll see. Oh, we've actually got um, to move along in Merlin's task as well. So once we've done this, I think we'll go and chat with Merlin and uh, we may be able to get rid of the uh, night thorns that are all around the castle. That is like a, a big deal quest. We've already got him up to level four. It progresses really quickly. If you have them hanging out while you are doing something, um, even if, like I say, you're doing a task that they aren't the like bonus skill of. So even if I was gardening right now, I'd still be earning friendship level with whoever it was that's hanging out with me. Um, so whatever you're doing while you're trying to still build friendship with your villagers, always have someone hanging out with you. Even if they're not giving you any kind of bonuses, you're building their skill. And it means that when they are giving you a bonus for their particular skill, the bonuses will be higher. Uh, you are, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a lot of things. We need to get as many as possible. Oh, I never, ever have managed to get every single one of those. The coin ones, I think are loads loads longer but the ones where it's like extra resources like that I've never managed to get every single one right let's go to Goofy's stall sell these gems I'm sure we've got seven at this point see what Scrooge wants from us next sell that seven gems he should be pleased with us another reason to have him hanging out with us is we can just go immediately to him and say hey I'm done what's going on oh I skipped through what he said. Uh, he said, invest in your house by using the elevator inside to add more space. Okay, so basically, again, a little kind of mini tutorial quest to explain to me. 
here's how you can make some money and you should now upgrade your house because it's a little bit shit. Uh, that's basically what he's saying. Uh, and I think we'll probably get the boards off the windows if we were to do that now as well. Hopefully I've got enough money to do that. Let's see, this is the elevator. Expand, oh, we only need a thousand coins. That's not bad at all. Okay, so I've expanded. What have you got to tell me now? Amazing. We've also got more space in storage as well. Fantastic. Okay, so that is that little mini tutorial quest finished we're not starting whatever this next one is scrooge we do not have time today we're just gonna go and finish up with merlin and hopefully unlock the castle that would be the aim of today's game now if you need to know where anybody is you can press the plus sign and go to map and you can see where everyone is on the map here. Now, a secondary thing you can do is you can click, you can press A on the person, and when you leave the screen, it gives you this magical little trail that you can follow. This is particularly useful when they're moving, um, especially with, well, I don't wanna spoil it, but with some characters later on that can kind of hop around, uh, it's easy to find them doing it this way. So Merlin, I've done everything that you wanted me to do. Now what? Oh, you want me to check on Mickey Mouse at his house and then meet you at the castle. I can do that. I don't even know if we've spoken to Mickey Mouse yet. Like three episodes in. Have we even spoken to Mickey Mouse? Possibly not. Possibly not. Oh my goodness. His house has been taken over. That sounds great. Okay, so I think you might need help. Gonna get rid of these night thorns. I have a feeling that in the last night thorn there might be something. A memory, perhaps. Oh, there we go. Not the last one. I really thought it was gonna be the last one. Maybe there'll be two. What is this memory gonna be? Oh! Oh my goodness, do you know what? Now I'm looking at these things slightly differently because play, having played through and having done these things quite early on, I wasn't really, I didn't really understand what the game was all about. Now I'm looking at it like, oh my God, all these characters surely are coming to Dreamlight Valley. They were in Dreamlight Valley before the forgetting. And so in theory, we should be bringing them all back, right? This is exciting, okay. So that's the most exciting part about that picture, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there'll be more. Uh, let's go and get the last of the dream thorns. And also this chest. See what's in the bag. Oh, a little backpack. Uh, okay, right, what do you want from me next? Oh, oh no, I didn't wanna do that. I thought you were Merlin. No, I don't have time right now. I don't have time. We'll deal with this later. Right, Mickey Mouse, I have done this for you. What is next? Ooh, Remy left all of his recipes to keep him safe. Remy from Ratatouille, for those of you who don't know, the little rat. Um, and now we're gonna have to find them. Let me get to that, Mickey Mouse. Why won't you let me get to that? What is that? Is it is it a recipe or is it a ruler's diary? We're going to find out. Uh, but it did say that the picture, oh, there's a ruler's diary. So it said that the picture that we just found was going to be a clue as to where we would find the recipes. Right. So you see where the shovel is? I'm thinking that that is where we're gonna find it. And this is what I said in a previous episode. It's very tempting to move things around because from day one, you can move everything in the game. Everything apart from, um, you know, like the the unmovable things that I mentioned, things like the mushrooms and those tree stumps and stuff. You can move all the buildings, all this stuff can be moved and, and taken around. So if you do that really early on, when you get these memories and it says, maybe you'll find it here. If you've moved, Shay Remy somewhere else, it's very difficult to know <laughs> where that actually is. And you have to use clues 
of like clues from elsewhere. Right, here we go. So here it is. And if we see, if we'd moved Shay Remy, it might not have been obvious. If we'd not remembered, then we may not have found it. Oh, more, more, more. Uh, I'm just going to pick up the rest of them while, you know, while we're around. Oh, I don't even know if we got that. Kind of ran into myself. Right. Are we going back to Mickey Mouse? Did we? Oh, looking for wood. Thought we were. Oh, he's really confused me. Why did I have to talk to Mickey Mouse? He said, check on Mickey in his house. Okay, great. But that doesn't seem to have done anything at all. So now I've like started another quest with Mickey. Okay, well, I really just want to finish the quest with Merlin. One thing at a time. You're always doing like 15 quests on this game. Okay, so hopefully now we can get rid of the night thorns that are at the castle. So each of the areas are blocked by night thorns and they all take a certain amount of... So this says use 2000 dream light they all use a different amount of dream light to unlock so we're using 2000 of our dream lot dream light to unlock the castle right now and then we can go inside it and i don't know what i was expecting when i first went inside the castle but it was not this Magical, right and it is huge so a big thing in this is like again because I'd done so little research about the game when I first played it I don't know about you guys that are playing this for the first time but I didn't realize that this would be kind of the portal to all of the different places uh, so it says here I have just enough dream light to open the very first door so I can decide which one I want to open either a restaurant with a great little chef a desolate planet with a shy robot or the ocean with a demigod I'm gonna go with a restaurant with a great little chef because it kind of goes hand in hand with the Mickey Mouse quest which now I'm thinking about it makes sense as to why Merlin went and got me to check on him and start that quest before we came into the castle it's kind of all putting it together isn't it so we've opened this door and we've started a brand new quest which is going to revolve around ratatouille and i'm gonna end it there so in the next one we're gonna do that quest we're gonna see what else we can accomplish and um start actually bringing some new characters into the valley and that is it for today's episode of uh restarting dreamlight valley thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe i also stream over on twitch the same username as i am over here and i also make content about other casual games that you might enjoy too so stick around and i will see you guys in my next one